Hi, Rob Dayton, the master's program here in Santa Barbara at the beautiful courthouse. Look at this thing. So beautiful, built in 1926 and has become the character of Santa Barbara. It introduced a new season of architecture, Spanish colonial revival, which has captivated the whole city. And it is the talent of Santa Barbara. Which brings us to a question, what's your talent? What is that thing that God has designed in only you that is absolutely amazing? The thing that uh, when the father was thinking about you before you were born and you were knit in your mother's womb, he was thinking, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this talent. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prepare these works for him. I'm going to give her these insights and passions to, to accomplish. What, what were those things? What was Papa thinking about when he created you? You know, in the master's program, we're asking you to achieve life mastery and life mission, which means you're going to have to understand really, really well what God has placed in you. What are your unique talents? You've got to understand those things because if you don't, you're not going to be able to aim them. God has given you specific talents that he's given no one else. Will you get to use those talents? Well, I'm going to give you just a really short exercise you can do to better understand your talents at work and in the kingdom calling realm. You might remember in sessions five and 10, we talked about strength finders. We had to take strength finders from Gallup, the Gallup organization, where you identified your top five talent themes. Do you remember that? Do you remember what the top five are? If you can remember what the top five are, then congratulations, because most people, what they do is they look at that top five and, and they say, oh, that's about me. But they don't take the next step to actually memorize them. I wanna take you to an even deeper step that's gonna explain why those talents are so uniquely you. How do you do that? Well, what you do is you take the top two strengths, the first one and the second one, and you blend them. It's actually the blend of your top five that, is, that describes your unique brilliance that God has created in you. So for example, my top uh, strength is futuristic, which is defined as someone who sees a vision of the future and inspires others uh, and gets them excited about that vision. My number two is activator, which is uh, taking the thoughts, taking thoughts and putting them into action. Usually means that I'm impatient and I want people to take action and not talk about things for too long. Well, if you blend those two definitions, those two definitions uh, in my unique blend is I enter, I give people a vision of the future and I energize them to take action to fulfill that vision particularly in the area of the calling that they have on their lives. And it's that blend that's so unique that helps me aim uh, that particular, uh, particular talent. Now it's your turn. So what are your top two? And if you're looking for a, a definition, the definitions of those, I've included that in the link in the blog to the Gallup organization where you can download those particu particular definitions. When you take the time to really understand what God's placed in you. And, and, you, and you really look at why he's created you to do the things you do, then you'll have the opportunity to do them. Taking those top two Gallup strengths is an opportunity for you to more precisely describe what God's placed in you, the talent he's given you, so you can aim it better. When we do that, we're honoring what God's done in us and we're saying, I'm willing to invest the time, God, that you, the, the time you've given me to double down and understand what you are having me to do on planet Earth and doing it. I hope you do that because in Priority Living, we're here and we're dedicated and we're committed to seeing that your life mission is fulfilled. We're in your corner. Have a great day.